Hey guys, this is Fiend 91 and I'm talking about Halo Infinite. Why? Because 343 Industries has announced through their Halo account on Twitter that Halo will indeed have free multiplayer and it will also be 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X. Those are two big announcements. Do you know what 120 FPS is? I remember when I moved up to 120 and over, actually, FPS in League of Legends. And League of Legends isn't like that graphically high of a game in general, but... When I played that on over 120 FPS, that, 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 it takes some getting used to. That's how quick your character and stuff moves and stuff with your eyes. So those are both good announcements, but I want to focus on the free multiplayer because why are they doing this? Well, you guys have seen with Warzone and with a lot of free-to-play games or free-to-play modes like Fortnite even, it just brings in the people. See, people will try a game, especially a game that they're interested in, if it's free. See, people, when it comes to buying games for 60 bucks, people don't just buy willy-nilly. They buy based on, okay, I'm pretty sure this game is going to be really good on all the stuff I've seen. But when something is free, they, they are like, okay, I'm going to try it out. It's free. Out, not only that, but I believe that sometimes causes people to actually buy the full game. Like with Call of Duty, maybe people just played Warzone. And then they're like, wow, this is actually pretty good. Let me try the whole game out. I think that's what happens sometimes. So I actually think, this is a weird statement, but... Games that either have like free modes, like free multiplayer or free battle royale actually probably make more money. In general now, there are probably exceptions you actually pay like 60 bucks for. Because when you pay 60 bucks for a game, you expect certain things. When you play a free mode in a game or you play a, a free game and they have all these like skins like in League of Legends and whatnot, people I think don't mind paying for like chests in League of Legends, which are basically just loot boxes or skins when the game is free to play. And that's also why I think it ends up making more money because if it was 60 bucks, people would be like, wait, if it's 60 bucks, why am I paying for all these skins and these cameo camos and stuff like that? So, so I really think that they're going the right way with this. I really think that this will introduce Halo to people that maybe not even play Halo like that because people will see, oh, it's a free Halo mode. Yeah, I'm going to play it. So I really think that they'll get a lot more people playing Halo and they will actually make more money in the long run because... They may have microtransactions, let's face it, just like Call of Duty Warzone, because Warzone itself is free, so it kind of makes sense why they do have microtransactions, since the Warzone mode itself is free. So they may have microtransactions, but I really think in the long run, this will actually cause more people to play Halo Infinite, and maybe even get into the Halo franchise. But what do you guys think about Halo Infinite having free multiplayer, and you being able to play at 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, may God bless you all.